is Charles Flutiman with Boats.com and we're down in the New Orleans area today getting our first look at Mercury's new four engine piloting for joystick system that operates four Verado engines. And I've got David Polk, the Vice President of Product Development for Mercury Marine here uh, to talk a little bit about joystick in general. Now David, Mercury's had about seven years of experience uh, with joystick systems with your Zeus, Pod Drive, and Axios Stern Drive systems. How did that experience um, help you develop the uh, joystick system for the Verado outboards? Well, we, you know, as you said, Charles, we started on our larger boats with the, the Zeus system, migrated it through cruises with Axios Stern Drive, and now we have a system that we can apply to any outboard boat with two or more engines. I think one thing you have to think of is just because you have a joystick, you don't have joystick control. You know, there's a lot of things you have to consider to make joystick control really intuitive uh, for a customer. You have to give them enough authority, you have to give them enough precision and control, enough modulation. The joystick has to be proportional so that they can get an expected response to it. And that's all created by enhancing the control strategies, making the system more integrated, and then advancing the calibration you know, for the particular boat and also for the multiple engines. And then we have advanced features that we developed initially on the larger boats, like our Skyhook GPS positioning system, which allows you to hold a position in all kinds of wind and current. That takes a lot of development to integrate it with the chart plotter, with the control system, to make its response predictable, not too jerky. You know, it's, it's really a big evolutionary process from, from the integration of the hardware through the control strategies and finally to the calibration, you only really get the most out of the system when everything is fully optimized. So when we look at the application for the joysticks with outboards, uh, who do you think is the customer that will most appreciate having this on their boat? You know, I'll be honest with you, I think if you, if you have a boat with two engines or more on it, it's, it's almost hard to think who wouldn't want a system like this on it. I think if, if you have a bow thruster, or, or you're considering a bow thruster like now, right now, you get all the function of a, a, bow, a bow thruster, but in a fully integrated system with all these advanced convenience features and much more control and precision and authority over the boat. Specifically, I mean, if you're a novice boater uh, for docking, it makes it really simple. But even if you're an experienced boater, maybe you're a fisherman and you want to go out and, uh, you know, you find a, a, a fishing spot you want to stay over, hit, hit the uh, skyhook button and you just stay there. No drop in anchor. You're held over the spot and, and fish away. If you're in a, in a if you're coming from a no-wake zone, you need a bridge to rise or, or something like that. If you're waiting for a fuel dock, hit Skyhook. You know, it, it makes life uh, very simple for a novice boater and an experienced boater. All right, thank you very much. Next, we're going to go out and give this four-engine joystick system a try.